LakelandCarKeys.com Working on the 2010 Chevrolet Equinox uh, Customer said the ECU was burnt uh, They got another used PCM But it actually came out of the Buick So I came out and uh, I'm using the OBD Star DC706 I already connected Read the EEPROM it's reading the flash now and then once it's done I'm gonna pull the new unit and flash all the old information to the new unit and then hopefully that will have all the security so we don't have to do no key learning and make sure that we have the right uh, parameters for both engine and transmission so even though this computer is not working we're able to uh, hook into it and pull the EEPROM and the flash data out of it. Alright, so now I have the new or the junkyard PCM hooked up and if you were paying attention to the last time um, this ground wire I actually had hooked to another pin on the blue connector. So if you watched any of my other videos you know I always look at my uh, pin out connections for at customecm.com and they usually have it wired where it's you could do everything on one connector because I usually uh, make my own bench connectors that I, pl I plug directly for to my go diag so this is actually the pinout that's in uh, the DC 706 so if you look at the pinout in the DC 706 it will have you use this black connector for your ground and I just wanted uh connect it there and show you that you can actually do both so now what we're going to do we're going to go back and we're going to write the files but we want to write it opposite of how we read them so we're going to go ahead and we're going to read write the flash first and we're going to load it from external data because we already saved the file the last time all right and then e39 shadow flash bum 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 we're going to go ahead. Okay. So once we complete writing that flash, we're going to go ahead and... Um, actually, you know what? I think I made a mistake. I didn't want to read the shadow flash. I wanted that, the internal flash. So I actually got to go back, hook up to the old one, get that correct flash file, and go back and uh, write the flash first, and then write the EEPROM second. All right, so that's why it's very important to pay attention to what you're doing. Had I not been recording this video and said it out loud, I may not have caught that. I actually read the wrong flash. They have both the internal flash and the sh shadow flash, and I had backed up the shadow flash. So I'm going to go ahead, read the internal flash, and then once that's done, I will save that file. And that's what we will write back to their new junkyard replacement PCM. All right, so here goes for take two of trying to rewrite the junkyard PCM. I got all my connections back in, powered on. I am going to connect to the, the PCM. All right. Verifying security, I do have to be on the internet, so I am connected to the hotspot on my phone. And we are just about connected. All right, so let's go back and we're gonna write the internal flash, load external data, hit OK. All right, so let me see, E39 internal flash internal flash and all right so maybe maybe i did that right the first time and it's just uh because i from what i'm seeing now is it showed me the shadow flash bin here but then it it has two different uh flash for the internal flash so maybe i did do that right the first time and all right so I'm going to go ahead and uh, write that internal flash and 
once this is done, I am going to write the internal EEPROM. As you see, there is no options there to write Shadow Flash, so uh, that'll be interesting to find out what uh, what that Shadow Flash actually does and why does it back itself up and save a file. So I'll have to uh, reach out to uh, GlobalCommerceCA.com because he does a lot of this stuff. So uh, definitely make sure to follow his videos, like and subscribe. Um, I get a lot of good information from him and he he says that uh, he, he got a video coming on doing some of the no the newer global a uh, electronic uh, <coughs> steering racks which I had a problem with one of those a few months back before I had this device so uh, it'd be pretty interesting to see what uh what that does all right I'm gonna cut it out and then once this is done writing, I'll come back. We'll write the EEPROM, which will take a few seconds. And uh, then we can hook it back to the car and try to start it up. All right, so we're getting ready to finish. We're at the last 99%. This whole process of writing a flash took probably about 10 minutes. So there we are. So we're going to go ahead and load the internal EEPROM. We're going to load it from external data. Select OK. And that's our E39 internal EEPROM. Hit OK. And there it is. All right, about seven, eight seconds. And that is uh, completely written. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from this ECU. All right, power off the switch. All right, so now I could pull this out, pull it in the car, and uh, try starting it up. Now this car has been here for a while and uh, there may be some other issues so it might not just be direct startup but we're able to get them at least get them set up with uh, the correct file on the PCM so that they can go ahead and do what they need to do. Alright.